adding and subtracting fractions that have different denominators. Start with a couple of straightforward ones. 5 sixths add 3 quarters. First thing we need to do is make the denominators the same. 6 and 4 don't share factors other than 1. The lowest common multiple of 6 and 4 is 12, so that becomes our denominator. In the 5 sixths, to get from 6 to 12, we multiply by 2, so we're going to do the same with the numerator. 5 times 2 is 10. In 3 quarters, to get from 4 to 12, we multiply by 3, so we're going to do the same with the numerator, and 3 times 3, that's 9. Now we have the same denominators, we can add them together. 10 twelfths add 9 twelfths. How many twelfths does that equal? 10 and 9, that's 19. We'll recognise here that we have an improper fraction, so we need to convert that to a mixed number. How many times does 12 go into 19? Well, it'll go in once, so we have one whole number, and how many twelfths are left over out of that 19? We've taken away 12 twelfths, so that leaves 7 twelfths. Just check if you can simplify. In this case, you can't. Subtracting is exactly the same process, except that you're taking away once you've found the common denominators. 5 eighths take away 4 ninths. 8 and 9 they share a factor of 1, but no others, so we need to find the lowest common multiple. And here, that's 72. To get from 8 to 72, we multiply it by 9. So we're going to multiply the 5 by 9, that's 45. To get from 9 to 72, we multiply it by 8. So we multiply the 4 by 8, and that's 32. And remember that we're subtracting. How many over 72 do we have left? 45 take away 32, that's 13, and just check if it can be simplified, and it can't.